Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about things that I wish I knew before going to college. And first off, I go to the University of Washington. I study industrial and systems engineering. I just finished my second year and I'm an ongoing third year student. So I will be dividing these things up into two categories. One will be for classes slash school related things. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. But the second one will be for experiences in general in college. I have all my ideas down in my phone, so if I keep looking at my phone, I apologize. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, for the first category for classes, the first thing I advise is to plan out your classes. And by that, I mean you should plan out where your classes are and make sure they're not like across the freaking campus especially if you have a 10 minute gap in between them because that's going to be a struggle you might have to run slash jog across campus which is something that's not ideal you might even ride a bike if you want but if you don't like doing any of those and you prefer just walking and being relaxed and not being in a hurry i suggest you plan your classes plan out where they are and um yeah what i like to do is plan out my classes back to back like with 10 minute gaps in between them just so i can get my classes out of the way in the morning and then just work in the afternoon but i make sure that all of my classes are in the same general area so i can get to them easier and faster so yeah for the first advice plan out your classes and make sure you know where they are and make sure you're not running across campus because that is going to be a struggle especially especially if you're doing that for um an entire quarter all right for my second advice i suggest you going to ratemyprofessors.com and that is a great site to to see how good your teachers are at teaching and that is really important for your classes because i feel like the better your teacher the better your grade can be in the class because i mean if they teach well then you learn more so yeah that is my second advice okay for my third advice i suggest you getting a check account and i think it's around $15 a month, which is kind of pricey, but it's a great site to find solutions to problems. And by that, I don't mean you should copy the solutions, but I mean use it as a resource to, to learn off of, especially if you're super stuck on something. But yeah, that is that has been really helpful for me. And then my next, my next advice is to start hella early when studying for an exam because last minute studying doesn't work like yeah it worked back in high school when i was in high school at least i would study like the night before or at least the day before and it worked out well for me honestly but in college i cannot do that i have to start at least a week early to do well on the exam because if you study last minute it makes it really hard to retain that information overnight especially because in college you learn a lot of things in such a small amount of time so basically if you study last minute you're going to be trying to remember a whole bunch of things at once which is really hard for your brain to do so yeah don't study last minute study at least a week early and that will definitely help you on exams so my next advice is to have friends in your classes. Make friends, talk to your neighbors. I think this is really important to succeed in a class. I feel like you can't really do it all on your own, especially for my classes that I'm taking. Um, I feel like if I try to tackle everything by myself, it just doesn't work. So definitely reach out to a TA if you're stuck. Reach out to your professor. And if you don't feel like doing that, reach out to a friend. So make friends in your classes so the last thing i want to say about school related things is for your major things might not go the way that you expect them to go like for example i came into college thinking i would be an aerospace engineer because i was always so enthralled with outer space and just i don't know just the idea of making rockets and all of that sort um but that didn't go my way i did not get into aerospace engineering which i'm so happy about because I took like two AA classes this past year. I took AA210, which is statics, and AA260, which is thermodynamics, like just this past quarter. And I don't know, they're just not my thing. It's really hard and I, I don't know. I like my major so much better. And yeah, I just want to say that things might not go the way you plan it to be, but in the end, it'll all work out. All right, so for experiences, I suggest you 
trying to be as active as possible. For example, go to as many sports games as you can. Like for UW, a lot of the sports games are free to UW students, except for like the big ones, such as like football and men's basketball, I think. I can't really think of anything else, but a lot of the sports games are free, so go to them. I think it's a really great experience and yeah. My next advice, I suggest you studying abroad, apply to study abroad. I personally have never experienced this. I applied and got accepted into this Rome program, but it didn't happen because of COVID-19. But either way, I think studying abroad will be a really great experience because, because I mean, you're in college once. I say take advantage of this as much as you can. Aside from sports games, um, studying abroad, Join as many clubs as you can. I think it's a great way to make friends, to branch out, to network, to learn new things about yourself. And yeah, definitely join a bunch of different clubs. And for some of them, I suggest you joining clubs that are related to your major just so it's good on your resume. And for others, I say you should join clubs that could be completely random but you're completely interested in so yeah joining clubs is a great way to make friends because making friends in college is kind of hard especially because the people in your classes you see for only like three months which is a quarter and after that you just you just don't see them again unless you're in the same class again the next quarter so i suggest you joining clubs because you know that's a year-long thing and yeah the last thing I want to say is to not be intimidated by upperclassmen because once you get to college, people see each other as basically the same year. At least for me. Unlike in high school, seniors seemed so cool and so intimidating and all of that. And the freshmen looked so... I don't know. But you get what I mean. In college, it's not the same thing. Everyone is basically equal like we're all equally cool i guess i don't know i don't really know how to explain it but yeah just don't be intimidated by upperclassmen that is basically the end of all my advices that i have for you guys and now i'm going to be answering questions about UW. so some of these questions i personally cannot answer because for example someone asked about dorms and i've never lived in a dorm i have been living in an apartment since freshman year i've been living with a roommate and yeah all right so first question is it easy to make friends at UW um like I mentioned earlier in this video it's somewhat hard to make friends in classes especially if you don't take initiative but definitely join clubs and you can definitely make friends there and if you do want to make friends in classes and don't really want to join clubs just to make friends and all of that I say take the initiative talk to your neighbor and then get their contact number, get whatever, their social media or whatever, and then you guys can stay in touch. So yeah, that is my advice. Um, how good is the food? I've never had on-campus food except for my orientation, and I don't really remember it being amazing, but we do have the Ave, which is one street right next to UW, and it has a bunch of restaurants, and I definitely think they have a lot of good food over there. So definitely check out the app for good food that's close by. If you're also looking for more, I guess, high-end food and more actual restaurants, I suggest you going to the University Village, which is where I worked last year, and they have a lot of good food there as well. All right, for the next question, can you live by yourself? You can absolutely live by yourself if you have an apartment or something, but for dorms, I'm not exactly sure because like I've said, I've never lived in a dorm, but I'm pretty sure there are ways for you to get your own dorm by yourself. I think it's just harder to get them. What job is the best for earning money and managing your finances? I think getting an on-campus job will probably be best because they pay around $16 an hour while getting a job outside of campus that is minimum wage is $15 an hour, which is what I have. So yeah, my suggestion is getting a job on campus. You can find them on Handshake, which is a little website that UW students use to get jobs and internships and stuff. All right, for the last question, can you take more than one major? You can absolutely take more than one major. You can double major if you'd like. I don't know if triple majoring is a thing, but I know you can definitely double major. And if you do plan on double majoring, I suggest you taking majors that have classes that overlap, so it'll be time, more time efficient. 
But yeah, I hope I answered your questions. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to answer the questions about the dorms cause just because I don't have the experience of living in the dorms. But yeah, that is basically all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, or just anything. Just leave them down below and I will get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time.